Hi, this is Karen Harris, and I just wanted to give you a little peek at one of my PowerPoint shows for introducing an important concept to students. Uh, to get started, we'll click on Slideshow, and then over to From Beginning. To get things started, all you need to do is tap the mouse or the space bar, and you'll set things in motion. So right up front, it announces to the kids the concept they'll be working on. Another tap, kind of gives an illustration and a definition. So there's your objective right up front. See, now the kids are thinking this is like a game and they're going to want to participate. and there's the task. Now keep in mind that along with this PowerPoint students have um, a scaffolded frame of all of the items and they can be filling in on paper and drawing in if you'd like to match the out loud responses so we're accessing a lot of different modalities here. Again that ding kinda tells everybody look, he, look here <laughs> there's a new um, new slide for you to start with. So they'll look at that and you are going to click to give a bell signal and they will let you know that it's four tens. Another click and you'll let them know that you're ready for them to answer how many ones. And you can be doing that verbally or you can have them writing it down um, on their paper in front of you. So is the same as, four tens and twelve ones is the same as, well there's the same model, but you could tell the kids how could we construct that a little more efficiently, something that would make it easier for our brains to analyze. One click and starts that process. So now we have four tens and twelve ones is the same as five tens and two ones. You'll notice that one went a little faster because I just clicked faster and you'll be able to adjust the speed to match your kids progress. Now we have a click, three tens and oh my gosh that's a lot of ones. Hard for kids to count especially if they're not sitting right up next to the screen. So just take your cursor and help them count three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. There's the bell again. A little different approach on this. Several models and ways of thinking are presented throughout the PowerPoint. So that's the same as three tens and 24 ones is the same as five tens and four ones. Now some of your kids are going to be saying, oh, I'm, I'm getting this. It's two tens adding over to three tens and that makes five tens. And of course the four tens are still left there. So lots of different opportunities for practice. I'm going to click through this one really fast so you can see. Now, you notice that we're going to go into the hundreds here, so you can ask the kids, oh my gosh, what are we going to do here? Clicking again, and I'll say 12 tens and six ones. What can we do? We've got to be able to rearrange this a different way so it's not as confusing to our brains. One click and you'll start this process. This is always a big aha moment. The students are predicting how many 10 sticks will be left that aren't part of the new 100. And now they're um, very confident at writing down that it's 100, two tens, and six ones. It even goes into multiple hundreds, regrouping hundreds, regrouping tens and ones kind of intermittently. I'll go through this one kind of quickly so you can see. 
and you might ask the students before you show any model to go ahead and complete the bottom uh, fill-ins of their work-along sheet and then they'll see this. Oh, no model anymore, a little more challenging. So now they'll say, well, I think we're going to have 300 because we've got to take this extra 10. That can only go up to 9 and it's way past that. So give that 10 over to here. Three tens, that leaves two and two. And that's just an example that the, the, the uh, program is long enough that you could break it up over three or four days for practice and something you could always pull out for five, six minutes of quick practice when you've got those extra little times that you want to be taking advantage of practice with. Um, keep it loaded on your computer and it'll be ready to go. There's also work along sheets, some pre-test, post-tests that are available for this concept. And just know that your kids love it and it always ends in a fun way. So I hope you visit me over at my blog, coolschoolwithkaren.blogspot.com or my Facebook, which is Cool School with Karen. And uh, check out some of the cool things we have. Thanks.